Good morning, lovelies. So my handheld camera is still kind of glitching out. So again, I'm using my computer. But uh, today's video is the second in my DIY present series. Um, this one is an envelope back tutorial uh, for pillows. You know, making pillow covers for forms. So my, I did a 16 by 16 inch pillow form. Uh, I will go over it step by step, but keep in mind that your supply list will change as in get bigger or smaller depending on the size of the pillow form you use. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you all next time. Bye. Do 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 and I am pressing play. Okay, so here's the supplies you'll need. You'll need a top fabric. Mine's 16 by 16. You'll need a bottom fabric. These are 10 by 16. You'll need strips of interfacing and buttons to close at the back, and pillow forms. These pillow forms are 16 by 16. Then, what you need to do is attach your interfacing. Here, I've fused it because I have a, just a cheap, fusible interfacing. And then I will turn it in a quarter of an inch, and then I will fold it over to meet the other edge. You'll be able to see that better here in a second. But, so, I used all the back pieces, but here I sewed a quarter of an inch in, and then I pressed that down, and then I turned. So then you turn that edge up to meet the edge of the interfacing, like I did here, so that it lays flat. And then you want to do two lines of seamage, thread marking, whatever. You want to sew that, sew the two edges down. One edge at the, like just along the fold line, and the other edge along the edge of the fold, if that makes sense. This will give you a good solid base for the buttons and the button holes. Here, there I was marking where the buttons were going to go. And now here I am opening up my buttonholes. Altogether, this project takes about 15 minutes per pillow. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on the size of the pillow you're doing. So here I am uh, lining up the edges and I will then take a marking utensil and mark those holes are on the other piece of fabric and then I will baste those edges together so that they won't wiggle while I'm attaching the back to the front. But here I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to mark it all. So here I am taking my front fabric and my back pieces. As you can see, I uh, basted the edges down so that they lay right. And then I'm putting right sides to right sides. And then the reason I'm pressing down like this is to try and make sure I don't have any wrinkles. I'll then pin around the edges and then I will sew around all the edges because this one doesn't have, this one already has a pre-done hole, so it allows me to do that. I then clip the corners, and once those corners are clipped, I'll take my turning tool, which I use a pair of old hemostats. You can also use uh, the end of chopsticks, you can use the end of knitting needles, you can even use your scissors if you've got a really uh, blunt pair. 
you don't want to use anything too super sharp though, because then it won't turn. It'll just poke through the fabric, and then you will have a hole in your fabric. So, yes, I use a pair of old hemostats, so I turn out the corner to make sure they're sharp. And then once you've got all those corners turned out, you'll want to um, take it over to your ironing board and press all of this so it lays nicely. I really should have probably pressed this uh, after I finished sewing it, pressed all those seams so that the uh, threads would integrate better with the fabric itself. And once I've got all that pressed down nicely, I should go through and sew in the buttons, which I don't think I did right away. I think I stuffed it first. Yes, I stuffed the pillow first, but really you should go through before you stuff it and put in the buttons and then stuff the pillow. I learned that the hard way. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It shouldn't take you too long to make these, and they do make good gifts. I would say for a 16-inch pillow, it probably costs me $20 to make, but you can always add the bonus of it is handmade and one of a kind, unless someone else went out and got those exact same fabrics. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.